Mike hated late-night deliveries. The small town he lived in could be friendly enough during the day, but the shadows always seemed to hold something different after dark. Still, with bills to pay, he couldn't exactly turn down work. He adjusted the package nestled in the passenger seat and scanned the address scribbled on the crumpled paper. Way out on the edge of town. Some old farmhouse, probably. The GPS led him down increasingly narrow roads. The welcoming glow of houses dwindled away, and Mike's headlights cut the only path through the dense trees. An address number finally glimmered on a rusted mailbox, half hidden by overgrown weeds. No porch light, no sign of life. Mike sighed, grabbing the package and walking up the cracked concrete to the door. He knocked once, twice, but only heard the echo in return. Annoyed, he turned to leave when something caught his eye. The door. It was ajar, just slightly. Maybe they were asleep and didn't hear. Hello? Mike called, pushing the door open. It swung wide with an ear-splitting creak, revealing not a welcoming hallway, but a scene ripped from a nightmare. The room was in shambles. Furniture was overturned, an old TV shattered on the floor, and dark stains marred the threadbare carpet. Mike's breath hitched in his throat. Anyone here? His voice came out as a shaky whisper. A low growl echoed from somewhere deeper in the house. Mike froze, every muscle in his body coiling tight. That was no dog. The skin on the back of his neck prickled. He knew with a terrible certainty he wasn't alone. He took a slow step back, then another. His escape was cut short as a figure lunged from the shadows. Not a figure, a man. His clothes were ripped, his eyes wild and bloodshot. The man snarled, launching towards Mike with unnatural speed. Scrambling backwards, Mike managed to get the door slammed. He could hear the man's enraged pounding, nails screeching against the wood. Get out of here! The man shrieked, the sound inhuman. Not needing a second invitation, Mike sprinted for his truck, heart pounding in his ears. He fumbled with the keys, finally throwing the vehicle into gear and tearing down the driveway. His rearview mirror showed the man chasing for a few desperate seconds before the darkness swallowed him back up. Mike didn't stop driving until he was well within city limits, the glow of streetlights chasing away the clinging terror. His hands still shook on the steering wheel. Was that real? Some kind of drug-crazed maniac? He didn't know, but one thing was for sure. He'd be checking those delivery addresses with a whole lot more suspicion from now on.